Hey, this is Ashley, and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic, and I am here for an album review for GOT 7's Eyes On You. So just in case you know nothing about GOT 7's Eyes On You, it is their eighth mini album, and it contains seven tracks, and it was released on March 12th, 2018. The seven tracks that are contained on Eyes On You are actually six tracks and one instrumental. The first track is One and Only You featuring Yolen. The second track is Look, which is the title track. The next track is The Reason, followed by Hesitate, then Us, and then finally it ends the album with Thank You, and then the instrumental track of Look. As has become common with GOT7, they participate in the creation of the music that makes it onto their albums. And on this album, we actually have member participation in every single track. So what I'm gonna do now is just go through and break down each of the tracks and let you know what I really thought of each track. So, so let's start with the first track on the album, which is One and Only You featuring Hyolin. This first track is also their pre-release track, which they released before the album actually came out. And I'm so glad that they did. When you think of what a bop is, it is literally this song. Everything about this song just makes you want to move. It is a great song and one of the best things is actually the Hyolin feature. When I first heard that Hyolin was gonna be featured on one of their tracks, I was a little bit hesitant, but I was excited. And I'm really glad that I was excited on, at the end because this is fantastic. So the way Hyolin's feature was actually done wasn't that she just popped up for a small section of the song and then disappeared, like many features actually end up working. This feature was well woven throughout the entire song. So rather than just getting Hyolin's small part where she had her bit of a verse, we also got her vocals that laced throughout other parts of the song, which added a sense of balance to the song. One of the things that I love about American music and when they do features featuring male and female vocals or groups that have male and female vocals is that there's this harmony and this blend that you get that you don't get when it's just females or just males. And when you mix the two together, something fantastic happens. Um, it's just the, the difference between the vocal ranges and just the delivery of the voices. It's really, really great when you get two different dynamics like that. And it makes the sound feel even more full and more, it feels more rich. So I really enjoy that dichotomy when you have those two different kinds of voices. And this doesn't necessarily happen only with male and female vocals, I will say that, but it is, I'm talking deeper voices, versus higher voices, the mix between the two. That is the key here. So with Hyolin, her voice being laced throughout the song, it ends up creating this feel that is different than any other GOT7 song that's really, I can really remember, and it is fantastic. Like I said, it is a total bop and a lot of fun to listen to. I also want to mention that this is a song that was lyric written by JB because JB tends to get a little bit of extra push and he tends to have songs that end up making it to be either title tracks or promoted tracks and that's what we got with One and Only You. He wrote the lyrics. Next up is Look, the title track and this was the lyrics and it was composed by JB. He did not do the arrangement but he did do lyrics and, and composition so another JB track and you really get to see how JB flexes his muscles when he works on title tracks because they sound very different than the songs that are even B-sides or the things that he does on his own. JB's style is very R&B and you hear that in One and Only You and you hear that in his songs that he releases for his mixtapes but you don't hear that as much with the title tracks and that's exactly the case with Look. However, you do see bits and pieces of those influences pulling out because there are bits and elements that are very R&B that are a little bit harder that aren't quite as electro poppy and 
quite as dance as the rest of this track because there are moments where there are certain drops that just kind of hit you and they're a lot harder throughout the song. Um, one thing to also note is that this is a song that mixes different genres together and a lot of times when genres start to mix things go haywire whether it's just because it's a weird transition or because the genres being mixed don't really work. In this case the genres that are being mixed are close enough together that they do work however there's still something that is a little bit odd about the way that these different genres are mixed in together and while I really enjoy the song so don't get me wrong I realized that I loved the song when all of a sudden I was sitting in my car and I just started bopping to the song all on my own um, but there is something that is just a little bit off that I think I wish that was the transitions were maybe a little bit smoother because it's not the transitions between the genres but between the rises and the falls the drops pretty much I tend to prefer songs that have a more steady build and then they have their drop. This song, it kind of works a little bit different. It has a kind of mellowish kind of feel, then it has a sharper build and then the drop. Um, so that's the one thing that I don't quite love as much. But like I said, the job, the song, but like I said, the song does what it's supposed to. I like it and I dance to it and it's accomplished what it's need to do. So take that as you will. Next up is The Reason, which was lyric written and composed with the lovely help of Bam Bam. And Bam Bam is bringing it and I'm really starting to get an understanding of his actual style. So in the songs that we've seen him participate in, there's definitely an R&B feel to those songs. They don't tend to go in other directions, which I shouldn't be surprised coming from Bam Bam. That seems to be the kind of style that he likes. And it's definitely starting to show in the music because the reason is very much an R&B track. It's a little bit slower, but let's not say that it's a slow R&B track because it's not. The song definitely has its highs and gets really upbeat at points, but it is definitely one of those songs that is a little bit more mellow on the whole. It's one of those songs that you catch yourself singing to and you don't even realize because the song, the song is pretty darn sweet and it's, it's one of those songs that'll just like, it'll hit you in the feels a little bit and it doesn't mind doing it while making you want to dance and sing. And that is something that is a huge feat because it's, it's just one of those songs that it's really well done. Next up is Hesitate, which was lyric written and composed by Young J. And I'm gonna just give you a full disclaimer and let you know that I adore Young J tracks. Young J tracks are often my favorite. And I'm actually a little bit surprised that Hesitate isn't my actual favorite, absolute favorite from this album, but it is still an amazing track and one of my favorites. So Hesitate is really interesting in that it is very much Young J. It is very much R&B. Young J is a very R&B singer, very. And that is how his style comes out and it's beautiful. And that is exactly what you get with Hesitate, but there's one little difference. And that is the instrumentation made on this song. So. One of the things that I noticed very early on with Hesitate is that it sounds and feels like Young Jay. It feels and sounds like R&B, but there was something off and my mind didn't snap on it until probably the second listen, and that is the heavy usage of guitar. And guitar isn't used quite as much with R&B. It's more mixed into the background when it is used. It's not something that is very prominent in most R&B songs, whether it's there or not. I'm not saying that their guitar is not in R&B songs because listen y'all, it is. But it's usually not as quite as present and used in the exact way that it is in Hesitate. In Hesitate, it feels like it's almost got like this pop rock kind of guitar vibe that comes from it, 
but that somehow mixed in with this R&B style. And I'm impressed by the way that they use guitar in this song. But what it did was it ended up making the song feel a little bit different and still be really interesting and very Young Jay. And I really, like I said, it ended up not being my absolute favorite and it's not because of the guitar. It ended up not being my absolute favorite this time because it was just a little bit slower and I think I was just in a mood for a little bit more upbeat and also you'll see in a moment. So the next track up is Us, which is the yu gi -Oh! song which he participated in lyric and composition. And listen y'all, listen y'all, Us decided to snatch me. And that's the reason why Hesitate couldn't be in the top spot. Because Us is that song. Listen, so Us is very R&B. Again, GOT7 is a very R&B kind of group. And yu gi -Oh! always delivers these R&B tracks. And what I've noticed over the past year or so since he's been releasing more stuff on his own and just working more on their albums, but yu gi -Oh!'s tracks have gone from a much slower r and and he's been picking up the pace. They're becoming more upbeat, more dancey, less solemn, and that's exactly what we get with Us. Us is very upbeat, and one of the things that really hit me in the half Jamaican heart was the actual Caribbean vibe that it pulled out. This isn't something that GOT7 has never done. GOT7 has most certainly done songs that have Caribbean kind of vibes to them. Um, and this is another one that they are doing and it's, they do it well. And I wish that they would kind of do a little bit more. I'm hoping that we'll see more of this in the future because it sounds great on them and it's a lot of fun. This song is, I love it so much that it feels like I wish it was a song that they decided to promote as well because it's just, it's hard to get enough of us. It's just such a great track. And then finally, we have Thank You, which is the song written by Jin Young. And Jin Young, this is, this is what Jin Young does. So the moment that you hear Thank You, if you know Jin Young's style, the songs that he's worked on in the past, you can tell immediately that this would be Jin Young's track because it has that vibe. Jin Young's style is a little bit different than the other guys, and it veers a little bit more poppy, pop rocky, and you definitely get that with Thank You, and it's, it's something that it's really interesting to see how their styles are evolving and how it's becoming easier to tell which track would go with which member, and this is definitely a Jin Young track, 100%. But Thank You is a really great song. It's one of those songs that, of course, it's gonna hit you in the feels a little bit because it's like, it feels like it's for fans. And yeah, you just feel it. The mo Like you don't have to understand it. You just have to listen to it. Like the, what was done really well with Thank You is there's this emotion that kind of just comes out of the song, whether like you don't, you just have to hear it and that's it. And you understand the kind of emotion that you're supposed to be getting from this song. And it's really great. And that's something that not all songs can do, but it's also something that can be played with when done really well. And I'm really interested to see if that's something that GOT7 will kind of do in the future, where they play with a song where you're getting something that sounds like it's one thing, but the lyrics are delivering something different. That would be something fun to see in the future. But like I said, Thank You is very much a Jin Young track and it's very, it's very sweet. It'll hit you in the feels. Go listen to it if you haven't. Um, but it's a somber way to mellow down the album and round it out and it's it's a good end it's a good end i couldn't imagine this song being stuck somewhere in the middle of the album or anything like that so as for what i think of the album as a whole i really really enjoy it it is not my favorite god 7 album but the tracks are fantastic 
they are really proving themselves as artists and people who work on their own music, that they're capable of producing things that are really great and really varied, but also sound very much like them. And it's, it really is a feat because not everybody can do that, it, or it's easy to get stuck in a rut or stuck in one sound, but God Seven's managing to continue to spread their wings and try different things and really come into their own. And I just really enjoy this album in general. So yeah, uh, I'm, I'm very pleased. I listen to this album all the time. I'm going to work constantly. Well, I'm always going to work, but I'm constantly listening to this album as I'm driving into work. And I don't think I'm going to be stopping anytime soon because I just enjoy it that much. But let me know what is your favorite track from Eyes On You in the comments down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And since this is still one of my early reviews, let me know if there's anything that you would like to see from future reviews, things that you'd like me to focus on or talk about or touch on. Let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you guys next time. I'm out. I'm